Hey everyone, today on Classic Action Figures, we are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series ATST from Hasbro. This is a Walmart exclusive and it retails for about $60 here in the US. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. The front of the box has a windowed area where you can see the ATST and the driver. On the bottom right, you can also see a nice illustration of the driver and the ATST. The right side of the box has a cool looking schematic of the ATST, and on the left side, we can see the Imperial logo and the name of the product. And on the back of the box, you can see some images of the toy detailing some of the play features found. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the figure first. The driver is a pretty cool looking figure with a great sculpt and some decent paint details. He comes with a removable helmet and a small blaster. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a holster to carry the blaster when he's not using it. The figure's face is well done and the details on the helmet are also well made. As far as articulation is concerned, his head can rotate from side to side and his arms can rotate and they can extend far out too. He can bend and rotate at the elbows and his hands can rotate as well. The figure can also rotate from side to side and bend backwards and forwards at the torso. He can kick his legs forwards and back quite well but he's unable to do the splits at all. He can also bend and rotate at the knees and finally, his feet can rotate and move up and down as well. Overall, this is a good figure. I like that he comes with a removable helmet and he also has a great sculpt with good articulation. The only drawback is his inability to do the splits or extend his legs in any way, but considering that he's a vehicle driver, this is not a major issue for me. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual vehicle. Right out of the box, my overall impression is that this vehicle is awesome. You can clearly see that this is a well made toy and it has a nice weight to it as well. It also has a lot of great details sculpted throughout the body and the head of the vehicle. From the cockpit, to the front and side panels, to the cannons in the front and the sides, all the way down to the legs and the feet of the ATST. You can see that Hasbro did an excellent job detailing this vehicle. It also has a nice weathered effect, and unlike previous versions of this vehicle, there's no paint on the feet to simulate mud or other conditions. The vehicle comes completely assembled, but it does have an alternate cannon that goes in the front. The only thing you have to do is remove the chin gun that comes with the vehicle, and replace it with a cannon. The cannon features two missiles that can be launched by pressing a small button underneath it. This functions quite well and the missiles can fly out quite far. The head of the ATST can rotate and it can move slightly forward and back. The chin guns and the cannon can also rotate and move up and down. Also the side guns can move or you can remove them as well. The legs of the ATSD have various points of articulation. It has a double jointed articulation at the top so that it can extend and rotate. The back of the leg can also extend and contract and the feet can also move up and down. The only drawback with the vehicle is actually a design flaw. Because the vehicle is so top heavy, the legs can only balance in certain positions, so it can be a bit difficult to strike the right balance for this toy. This is not the fault of the actual toy, but rather of the design of the ATST itself. However, the toy is well made and I was surprised that several poses could be accommodated on this vehicle. The inside of the cockpit has some nice details like the panel stickers and the seats. The cockpit of the vehicle can hold two figures sitting comfortably 
and you can also have the driver or any other figure looking out from the top. The small circular hatch can open at the top and you can also open the whole top of the ATST in order to place the figures inside. You can also open the small hatches in the front so that you can simulate the driver looking out from them. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle from a couple of different angles. In conclusion, I have to say that this is a great vehicle, and it goes to show what Hasbro can do when they really put their best effort forward. The vehicle has great details and the paint accents are well done too. Overall, it's a well-made toy that can be posed in various ways, and it comes with a great looking figure as well. I could complain about the price, but to be honest, I have to say that you actually get a great toy for the price. The only drawback is that it's a Walmart exclusive, so it might be hard to get online or in the stores. I believe that this particular version of the ATST was previously released as part of the Legacy Collection, but if you don't have it or you want another one, then I have to give it a very high recommendation. Anyway, that is it for this review. Stay tuned for more toy reviews and videos on classic action figures. And until next time, take it easy.